Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about factory method design pattern. Factory method is a creational design pattern, meaning it is used for creating instance of a type. The main intent of the factory method design pattern is to allow creation of object without exposing the creation logic to the client. Now let's take an example and walk through what exactly this means. So for this example, let's consider the situation of a website which is used for selling different product. And for selling product, it needs to show catalog. And let's say one of the catalog is for lawnmower. So we have an interface called iLawnmower catalog and it has a method called getLawnmowers which returns an array of lawnmowers. Now, there can be different type of lawnmowers. For example, there can be lawnmowers which are based on diesel. There are lawnmowers which are based on electric and there are manual lawnmower as well. For the simplicity of the example, for the lawnmower class itself, I just have one property called name. So now the requirement is when the user selects the type of the lawnmower, we should be showing the lawnmower associated to that. And the best way to implement that is to have a I lawnmower catalog and different classes for different type of lawnmower catalog. Now, if we have a controller called lawnmower catalog, then the lawnmower catalog, the get method is responsible for returning lawnmower. But it would send the type of the lawnmower and based on that, we should be returning the lawnmower. Now, one way of doing it is getting an array of lawnmower and then we can iterate through the lawnmower and check the type name. And if it matches the type, we can use that type to get the catalog. So for example, we can do something like for each, we can say lawnmower catalog dot get type dot name dot contains and we can say if it contains the type then actually it will not be for each it will be actually for each lawnmower catalog and then we can say if item dot get type dot name dot contains the type then you can use this item to get lawnmowers and return that. Return that. So that way you are just picking up the exact type. But as you can see, it is not a very elegant solution. And this is where the factory method come into play. So what is a standard way of creating factory method are through a factory method class. So here we can create a class and we can call it as lawnmower catalog factory. Lawnmower catalog factory. And the lawnmower catalog factory itself can have an interface. So we can create public i lawnmower catalog. Create catalog and this will take the string type and here we can say return type switch and for the switch case we can say that if the type is diesel then new diesel lawnmower catalog if type is electric the new electric lawnmower catalog otherwise just return new manual lawnmower catalog so this can be as simple as that and this can be its own interface you can extract an interface and now what we can do is inside of this instead of taking all this implementation what we can do is we can expect the factory itself as a dependency and then here we can say lawnmower factory dot create catalog it will take the type name dot get lawnmowers so we can just return that 
So at this point, you have the factory, you're calling the create catalog with the type which will return a I lawnmower catalog and you are calling a get lawnmower on that and it is based on the type. So this is a pretty straightforward implementation and then what we are going to do is here in the dependency ejection, we will add services dot add singleton. Let's add everything as singleton. I here the only thing we care about is I lawnmower factory. So we'll have lawnmower factory because that's the one which internally creates the instance. So we don't have to add anything else into the dependency injection because the other dependencies are created by this factory. So now if we run this application, we can go here and try it out and we can try electric and execute and here we can see I am electric lawnmower whereas if we just pass it as empty we can see I'm manual lawnmower and if we pass it as diesel then we are going to see I'm diesel lawnmower so as you can see the the factory method pattern in action and as I said this is the implementation where usually you create a factory class and then interface and then create a method for actually creating the underlying instance that is needed. Now one other advantage of using an interface and class for the factory method itself is that it is very easy to unit test this because it's very easy to mock the I catalog factory and then the create catalog method can also be mocked and then based on that you can pass on one of the mock implementation of the I lawnmower catalog interface. It makes things really really simple. Now this is one of the implementation or one of the way of doing it but the way that I personally prefer is a little bit different. So what else we can do is instead of creating this factory class and an interface and things like that we can change the implementation a little bit here. And what we can say is instead of this we can have a lambda function. And the lambda function is going to return I lawnmower catalog and the name can still be lawnmower catalog factory because technically it is still a factory and this will take string as the input and let's change here also okay and now we can change the implementation here and runtime we can pass it we can call this lambda passing a type and call the get learn more and then the change in implementation in startup is going to be instead of doing this we are going to have and this I have to add the system namespace and here I can say we're going to just provide the implementation here and the implementation is going to be same as this one so we can just say this and this is going to return this is going to be x so now we are doing a switch on the incoming parameter and based on that we are creating an instance and returning and this way the implementation of the factory is inside the dependency injection container itself this is where usually I prefer to keep things but as I mentioned you can create a class called factory or you can go with a lambda function which is used for the exact same purpose and as you can see we have the lambda we are calling this now I'm going to run this function and we should be seeing exact same response as before so the web page shows up now if I go here first try without any parameter and I see the manual and then let's try with electric and we can see electric here and if we want we can debug through just to ensure that it is working as expected and we can do it here a breakpoint and we can put, put a breakpoint here and now if we run it you can see it comes here and then it comes through this function 
and it goes inside this and it since x is electric it creates a new instance of the electric lawnmower and return this and then it goes into the electric lawnmower implementation and returns the get lawnmower response and you can see it is getting electric. This is one of the very interesting and handy design pattern because there are some time where you might want to create an instance based on some external variable. And in that case, your only friend is a factory method design pattern. And as I mentioned, you can either create it through a class, creating a factory class and an interface separately, or you can create a delegate function like this and you can use that as your factory method. Now both the class and interface combination for factory method as well as the delegate function implementation can be very easily tested out because both can be mocked very easily. So this is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.